I'll be doing the front brake pads and rotors on the 2014 Ford Focus. The tools you need is a hammer, needle nose, 18 millimeter, a Allen key number seven, piston compressor, and a nine millimeter wrench. First thing I'm gonna do is loosen the bleeder valve. Once I loosen it a little, I'm just slightly tighten it just so I can easily loosen it later. I use the Allen key right here to remove this. And there's one more here in the bottom, right here. You can pull out the caps. the caliper but before you do that before you can take the caliper out you gotta take these this out once you remove the two bolts that's on the top and on the bottom I remove that middle pin right here you can pull the caliper out When you pull the caliper out, you can pull this pad out and you can hang it up here. You don't want to dangle the caliper and stress the brake line right here. Now you can get your 18 millimeter socket and wrench and loosen these one, two. If you're having a hard time, you can hit it with your palm it like this. Loosen it. To remove those two bolts out, you can take this off. Now that you remove the uh, rotor bracket, you can remove the rotor out. Mine's is loose, so I got lucky. If it's stuck in, you can hit it with the hammer. Hit it really hard, and it'll knock right off. Rotor comes off. Okay, to put the rotor back, just put it in like this. Now we're going to put this piece back in. In this way, 
Then you can screw this back in. Screw the bottom one back in. Make sure you guide it like this while you screw it in. Can we screw it in? I always want to use one hand to guide it. And you always want to do the bottom one too. Always do it by hand. Once you turn these by hand, then you can use the wrench. When you're done tightening the rotor bracket, you want to get your caliper right here. And you want to get a old brake pad. You can get the piston compressor to compress. And earlier, when I loosened the bleeder valve, this is the reason why. So when you compress the piston, the old fluid will come out of here. You can get your 9mm, loosen it. You can see it dripping with fluid. Now I'm going to compress. You can see the old fluid coming out. Once you've compressed the piston all the way, you can tighten the bleeder valve. Now that you're done doing that, you can spray it, brake clean it. Spray any parts that break clean and touch. You can now release the piston compressor. Then you can get the new pad. Remember this part right here? Goes in there. Squeezes in. On the other brake pad, put it out this way. Put the caliper back in. Like this. Once you wiggle the caliper around, it will go into place. See this part, you want to squeeze it in. Same thing with the bottom. Squeeze it in. You want to start with, start with the top by hand first. Once you get the top started, you start doing the bottom.
sprinkled back to the top. Now you get your wrench, start tightening it. When you're done tightening the bottom and top, put your bleeder cap back on. Put these caps back on. And now you can place this piece back in. You're going to need the needle nose to make this job a bit easier. Once you um, double checked everything, make sure everything's tight. This right here, the top and bottom bolt. The rotor bracket, top and bottom bolt, and the bleeder valve is tight. The brake pattern rotor job is almost complete. When you're done with both sides, you want to pump your brakes. Once they're tight, your car is safe to drive. Thank you for watching.